All right, folks, we're back. Well, we, uh, let me reassess what we're doing. I kind of forgot. <laughs> right. So we're here in the, uh, what was this place called? U.S. Store It or something like that? Anyway. Trying to make our way back over. To where we had died last time. Although in lore, this guy, Brendan, he is heading over there. Because that's where him and his friend were go. Or his friend said he was going to build stuff, our previous character. And also, of course, we are hungry again now. How that goes. Let's attempt to get there quickly. So that we can, uh, you know, survive. It's pretty quiet thus far. I do not remember where we were running away from last time. It might have been all those zombies up there. Really, dude, you're getting jump scared by a zombie inside of a window. Come on. Oh no. Did I just say fucking Q? Shit, 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 shit. At least uh, my guy had the decency to go Psst, rather than hurry over fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think we're going to have to shortcut through the uh, parking garage here. At least try to. Of course, there's a zombie in the door that I want to use. Fuck off. Oh, my God. Oh, this place. Okay. Brendan is not having a good night. He woke up, he's hungry, there's zombies at every corner, every little place, it's not great. Here we are, running for our lives once again. Alright, we made it through here. I'm gonna stop running, because, uh, yeah, we're just not gonna do that. Antidepressants, just happiness. Do I have any other drugs on me? Not at the moment. Okay. Check our rear. We're secure. Check them out. We are here, so. Oh, we were about to go into the hospital area. That would have been not great. Got some real inspirational music playing here. There's no way those zombies are coming for me, right? Okay, we're gonna skippity doo da right past them. Where the fuck are those zombies going? I'm gonna come out of the killing field. Look at my guy sweating. Where are those zombies going? What? What is going on with the zombies tonight? We're jumping the fence. By the way. I don't see any zomboids uh, above me here, so that's good. I can at least hopefully lure these guys away a little bit. Before I start smashing everyone else's face in. We also needed to catch our breath, so you know what? I'm gonna sit down on the ground and we'll just get up time a little bit. It'd be nice to, as well, have a... I don't know why I was right-clicking to try to stand, but... I'd be less exhausted to have some daylight. 
all good things to do right now. Okay. So, there's all the zombies who were coming to get my butthole. We're just gonna sneak away. I'm gonna try and... Yeah, there we go. They're all in the last position. Perfect. So... Where did I die at? Was it here? Over there? Was it out there? I don't remember. Was it down here, perhaps? My zombie wasn't exactly wearing very uh, obvious clothing. Take those beta blockers, actually. Help me out a little bit. There's so many bodies outside here. But not my zombie. So I'm not sure if my guy turns into a zombie when he dies. If we don't have an infection turned on. Or what happens. That me? Right there? Our friend, no! He's actually dead. <clears throat> Dang. I cannot believe our friend died out here when he was trying to make a, a base, a safe space to live. How could this happen to him? Well, we'll carry on his legacy. We'll take what he had. We will survive. Or he did not. Maybe, as we are surviving for our friend, perhaps our other friends that we know about will come and join us. You never know. I need your keys, though, sir. His name was, uh, Errol, by the way. That was his name. Errol Wick! Alright, let's finish, uh, putting on the stuff that he had. I'm sorry, my friend, but I must take your clothing so that I can survive. <gasps> my friend, did you have smokes and stuff in your little fanny pack? Thank you. I'm much grateful for these. We have the hammer, leather gloves, the leather jacket, which I already have, a lighter, some painkillers. We have the bulletproof vest and the rain boots. We can replace our watch with this lovely digital watch. Get rid of the jeans, drop the jeans. Drop these sneakers, drop the wristwatch. Just gotta be careful about not getting overweight. Okay, anything else I wanna put on right now? No. All right, let's grab nothing else. Let's just head back to where our base is at. So, <clears throat> a friend seems like he was trying to clear this place out. Perhaps I should go inside and take a look at what was going on here. After I eat a box of mac and cheese without cooking it, because that's how I roll. All right, there we go. Now we're uh, a little bit satisfied with that. And so we journey through the uh, convenience store, the, the tower here. It looks like my friend had managed to do a lot of work. Let us check and see if he has a base anywhere. Talked about taking one of the rooms on the highest floor. Fuck away from me, guy. Yeah, I can't fucking see him, so I can't hit him. Ugh. Come on, get up so I can kill you. There, 
he's dead. Good. All right. <clears throat> anyway, my friend had mentioned that if he did decide to take over the hospital, he would consider staging in this apartment building where it has food and water and other supplies, and that in the event of that, he would uh, try to get a house, uh, take over one of the apartments on the upper floors where it is safe and free from zombie activity, and blah 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 blah, and oh, look at this, it looks like my friend had made a stockpile of wood before he had left. How good of him. It's like he knew we were coming here. Well, let's see what else my friend had. Oh, it looks like he has a bunch of weapons and storage stuff in this... <laughs> okay. We're gonna just go ahead and store all this stuff in here. As much as we can, anyway. We're gonna, of course, fill it up, but we can go to the next one. Fill that one up. That sledgehammer's really fucking heavy. Um, Carpenter Volume 2 can go in there. This fanny pack, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna place it on the ground. So I can open it up and take my shit out. Okay, eraser, blue pen, lighter matches. I'm gonna put these in the, uh, the drawer here. Go. Okay. Excellent. Knowing that we uh, are now relatively safe up here, we decide to have a cigarette to remember our friend by, as we two were chain smokers. A little puff puff for the friend. There we go. Okay, so now what we should do is go back downstairs. Brandon realized that he did not know much in terms of survival. He would have to learn in order to do so. He knows that he saw a bookstore downstairs or a library or something of the sort and he is determined to get what he can to learn to survive he wasn't like uh, Errol Watt who was a little bit more experienced to surviving but Brandon knew now he has to Lady, get on the fucking ground. Jesus, sometimes these zombies just have no respect. All right. But first, we're going to go ahead and get back to where we had found our friend. And make sure that we get everything that he had on him. That way we can continue to uh, carry on his legacy and yada yada. Take some of these water bottles. And the uh, baseball bat on the floor. We're grabbing that. There we go. We need to open up my backpack. It's on the ground here. We're just going to take everything that's in here. Shove it into here. Meow. There we go. All right. So, it looks like my friend had keys to that van. Perhaps we should try checking to see if we can get gasoline from any of these vehicles into this gas can. I'm just going to put a crowbar away because we are currently very... Uh, encumbered here. Was that a full, like, gas can from that vehicle? Where's the gas can at? There it is. It was. Okay. Add gasoline from the gas can. Okay. I'm gonna go back one more time to the white car. I'd like to get at least, you know, two bottles. Not two bottles, but... Apparently that one doesn't have any more in it, okay. Can I siphon any gas? 
in here. Did I just get another level of sneaking? Okay. That one's also full. All right. Go ahead and fill this up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this gas can in the trunk of this van so that it is there when we need it again. All right. We carefully made our way back into the place here, knowing that we needed to find some books. Also knowing that we needed to equip our crowbar again because we uh, needed a weapon just in case any zombies decided to come after us. There we go. As we made our way into the bookstore, trying to go through a window when we could not. We searched for any books that could possibly prove useful to us. First Aid, Volume 1, was the first one we took. Same with metalworking. And a book about cars, I guess. Actually, we decided the metalwork metalworking book we did not need, so we put it back. Because honestly, when was I going to work with metalworking? What we desperately needed was a book on carpentry. Something that we could use to learn how to build things. We also needed to know how to work on cars, so we brought a mechanics book. And another magazine about metalworking, I guess. And a book about cooking, which we could not fit in our backpack because it is now full. Very slowly, I swept across all of the bookshelves, grabbing what I could, what I needed. First Aid Volume 3 that would help in the future. A Farming Volume 1 that would undoubtedly prove useful. Another book about cars, because why not? Finally, we found a Carpentry Volume 1. We also found a Volume 3, so we took that too. And then another book about cars. And finally, we decided, well, perhaps we're carrying a little bit too much now. Why don't we head back up to the safe area? And then we can drop off our load, because we are carrying quite a bit. And it is not good. Trusting that our friend had cleared out quite a bit of this place, we decided to sprint upstairs. Judging by the amount of corpses downstairs, he undoubtedly killed every inhabitant of the fucking place! Yeah, there was one zombie that apparently snuck by us. We pushed it to the ground and smashed its head in with a crowbar. Again, and again, and again until it lay still. It was dead, and that was that. So we continue to make our way upstairs to where we believed our place was at. We made it in just in time too, because we were getting a little tired. Probably, I would I would assume we're getting tired, but who can really tell at this rate, huh? So we put everything that we could into some drawers. We tried and store everything that we could. But unfortunately, the sledgehammer was still too fucking heavy, and it would not fit anywhere. So we had to look and scour for a place that had enough storage space, like this fucking closet. So we just rammed the sledgehammer in there and said, Fuck you, sledgehammer. I'm tired of your shit. We then sorted out the books that we could not necessarily read right now. And the ones that we could read right now. So that we could uh, do our thing. Okay. So I know, like I've said, we're not going to sit down and read a whole bunch, but we do need to learn carpentry. So carpentry is going to be uh, what we're going to learn right now. And we're just going to read until we're basically done here. So you might notice also some of the furniture here is gone. I, I spent some time 
between uh, the video where we weren't dead on our previous character and then we went out and died um, chopping down some furniture. And so that's where all that stuff went. I actually got him up to the point where we could make a rain collection barrel. However, we then died before I could actually do that because we needed a pipe wrench anyway. So, yeah, bad times, man, bad times. Okay. I'm going to put the, uh, the books into this drawer, this drawer. Why? Why don't they fit here? For fuck's sake. Come on. How am I still, like, carrying too much? I'm not carrying that much with me right now, am I? I guess because I'm a little bit, like, uh, or something? I don't know. Anyway, we need to eat, so let's go ahead and eat. I think we're still having some stuff in here, because I brought some stuff from some other locations. Let's grab this ham out of the fridge. I'll head over here to the uh, stove, pop that in, and turn it on. And then we just wait. There we go. Fresh ham. Let's see if that's enough to fill our tummy tum. It is. Cool. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to head to the bedroom, which was back here. A bedroom is here. But, uh... Before we go to bed, we're going to do some burpees. Because we need to get our strength up. We have a lot of problems right now. Let's sleep and take care of most of those, shall we? Whew. Okay. Eight o'clock. What a good time to be awake. Let us check here. So we have some bandages. We're going to re-bandage some of our wounds. And hopefully disinfect the ones that we can. Adhesive bandage here. I think most of our things got uh, infected. Do I have any... Uh, here we go, alcohol wipes. Disinfect the alcohol wipes. Use an adhesive bandage. Hey, that one fixed. Hell yeah, I'd love to see it. We are a little bit anxious. So we'll go ahead and smoke a little bit. We safely made it upstairs. Good on us. Everything is coming up. Um... Brandon, Brendan, whatever the hell his name is. Whatever. Okay. So I think what we'll spend today doing, not fighting zombies, but instead, uh, looking around for some other stuff. So, first of all, uh, let's read the other books we have here. Easy peasy. Red. I think we might actually get a bound journal going. It's uh, kind of aggravating when you lose your staff, right? Remember? Anyway, let's grab the rest of these level one magazines and stuff. Transfer them on over. Okay. I'm going to learn electrician next because we can start taking apart TVs and stuff like that. Um, so let's go ahead and read it and then sit on the ground. So I'm just going to use this uh, dresser as our book storage. We'll leave some things in here for when we need them. And just kind of go that way. And then if I open this up, I do bound journal. I need thread and then leather strips. Okay, that's simple enough to get. We are in pain, erg. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you exercise, like right before you go to bed and then have to have pain in the morning and shit. Alright. So that is electrician 
Oh, apparently I just threw that magazine on the floor. All right, electrician, no, god damn it. This one, electrician one, you go in there. Which one did I read, metalworking? To learn how to make metal fences, go in there. Let's go ahead and learn these uh, two car books real quick. One and two. Throw those in there. Then we got this cooking magazine, which should also be a quick read. There we go. Throw that in there. Okay. And then we already learned carpentry one, so we can put that in there. I might as well learn cooking next, since we're going to have to cook a little bit here and there. I'm going to take apart that chair by chance. No, I'm going to have to use a sledgehammer, of course. Okay. Do I have anything that's not, like, needing to be cooked? I think everything I have needs to be cooked, unfortunately. I guess I could just open up a can. Eat all. There we go. All right, moving along, actually. Real quick, I'm gonna uh, fill up our water bottles. Unfortunately, we are uh, sorely lacking in water now. All right, so let's go ahead and read our cooking book. Put it on the ground so we're not doing ourselves discomfort as much as possible. All right, so once we're finished with the cooking book, um, I think we'll have read pretty much everything we really need to. We don't need to worry too much about this stuff at the moment. Um, I mean, first aid, kind of important. But the other ones aren't too important right now, so. What we can hopefully do is finish reading the cooking book. That way when we cook stuff, we can actually, you know, eat it and whatnot. And uh, it'll increase our experience that way. There we go. Looks like it is time to go to bed. Let's go eat something quick, and then we're going to come back out here do our burpees to increase our strength and stamina. Oops. Didn't wait for it to open. There we go. Eat all. Empty tin can. You can just go on the floor. I don't give a fuck about y'all. I can probably use them for something. But what, I don't know. Anyway, exercise, burpees. Maximum. Let's go. All right. It is now time to get a good sleep. E excuse me. What was that? Did I not hear someone wailing on walls? Or something? I thought I heard someone pounding on something. We're gonna replace these bandages. Hey, that one's finished. That one is still, you know, bad, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll heal up. <laughs> okay, so, plan of attack for today. We're going to go to the other locations, other rooms, I should say, that are on this floor. We need a, uh, a saw. There we go. One. And what we're going to do is slowly but surely put some stuff, uh, take some stuff down. Actually, we can start with this stuff. This will be good to start disassembling. And again, we aren't going to get very much out of these since they're pretty low quality. Or uh, since we are low quality carpenter, right? How much does this hold? 25? Okay, I'll leave that for now. We can use that later. Let's open up another can of whatever. Can of whoop-ass, hopefully. Chili! We'll take that. 
opened can of chili. Eat all of it. Have an empty can, which we're gonna just drop on the floor. Okay, how anxious are we? We're anxious to the point that it's going to cause an impact to our work. In terms of bopping motherfuckers in the head with a sledgehammer. Or I guess a crowbar, really. Alright, let's head outside. And we're gonna start uh, destroying homes here. You can see I already did a little bit. Um, but we're gonna have to remove stuff from all of this. You know. Alright, now, if I right click, disassemble a large wardrobe. And we could use some of this stuff for, uh, like, storage up here as well. But I'd rather have it located in one specific area. I'm gonna take this rope as well. I think I can use rope to, uh... Remove... Or to, like, repel down to things. So if I wanted to go to a different level or something, I could use that. No usable materials found. Anything in this drawer? Yes, stuff is in the drawer. I'm going to take this lighter and the adhesive tape because we can use them to uh, do stuff. Everything else on the ground. Disassemble. Office desk. It's a two-parter. Nice. Office desk. And if we open up our, our L, we can see how much progress we're making towards stuff. So, if I... Not that. I can take apart these plastic chairs, can't I? Apparently not. I thought I did it one time, but... Hmm. All right, this whole area is taken care of. How about going into here now? Roar! Earbuds! I'm going to go ahead and dismantle those. This is why I learned electrical, so I can dismantle like earbuds and stuff like that without... Too much problem. What's on the surface? A sheet of paper? What? No, it's not. It's on the ground. Do you mean the fucking, like, feathers? Or, like, the flowers or whatever? <clears throat> I'll, I'll pick up these flowers, I guess. Bouquet of roses. It goes on the ground. I said it grows on the ground. Okay, fine. I will place the item on the ground. There we go. How dare they make me do that. Y'all remember when we could, like, pick up so much stuff? Because we had, like, 20 carrying weight just on our person. I remember. Good times. Alright, so remember, we need to get to level 3 in order to create that uh, water collector. And we need to do that so that we can... Oh, for fuck's sake. We need to do that so that we can get water coming to us again. There we go. All right. I'm going to grab these nails. Let's go ahead and remove these. And even though I'm not going to get much experience from this because I'm not getting the three-time multiplier... Uh, I will do that anyway, just because I don't want to come back into this apartment in particular. Uh, but what I will do is I'm going to clean all my bandages in this sink and the toilet and everything else here. Fill everything. Good, good. Toilet, I'm going to wash myself. Excellent. And then uh, I will drink from the toilet too while I'm at it. Do anything with the bathtub? Guess not. All right. Let's head back to uh, my house, where we will throw these planks on the ground, and with the uh, the nails and stuff. There we go. All right, and I should have a carpentry level two book somewhere. I think. I mean, I have to since my previous guy learned about it, right? I'm gonna put this crowbar in there. There we go, Carpentry Volume 2. Let's take that out. Store the rope in here, too. Okay. Let's 
still, I, I'm not sure why I'm that heavy right now, but okay. We'll start reading our carpentry too. Go ahead and sit on the ground. There we go. All right. <clears throat> this is going to be a pretty slow paced episode compared to the last ones. Whew. Man, the last ones have been just jam packed with like stuff going on. Clearing this tower, going from place to place. It's just been chaos. Just utter and complete chaos, guys. Like, man. We're a little more anxious now. That's all right. Okay. Carpentry 2 has been learned. Let's go ahead and throw it in here. We'll eat and then uh, figure out what we're going to do after that. Probably going to stay in here and read the other couple books that we have on us right now. We also need to exercise and you know, do our burpees and stuff. Here we go. We'll drop a tin can on the floor. And we're actually still a little bit hungry. God damn. Okay. Let's just have this tuna too. Looking at our info, we are we're losing weight, but that's okay. We shouldn't be getting underweight for a while here. All right. Um, let's go over here real quick. All right, let's learn first aid next. Read. We're basically just gonna read until we start getting tough. Why in the fuck am I not reading? Read. Oh, we already know it? Well, why the fuck's it in my inventory then, goddammit? Okay. I guess next we will learn... Mechanics? Actually, no. Let's stop that. Let's put it back in here, because now we're tired, so... We can do our burpees, and we can go to bed. Go! And we're done. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. We're getting slowly but surely getting our strength stat up. Excuse me? Why are we no longer sleeping? You can't get back to sleep. Try again later. How not? Why not? What? What woke me up? That's just rude, man. We, we didn't even, like, last for, like, a second. I'm gonna take some sleeping pills. Screw you, can't sleep nonsense. I hope we just exploded outside. Surely it's nothing to worry about. Surely. Okay. Well, we're going to head to the next uh, apartment. What's this on the ground? Oh, right. That's the radish that was like rotten or stale or something that we threw out a while ago. Ooh, ice cream. You know what? Let's eat that as our morning snack. Because we are losing weight, it might be a good idea to uh, do that. And then... I'm gonna grab all this stuff. And we're just gonna we're just gonna take this stuff into our house so I can tear down these cabinets. Anything we do not want, we're just gonna throw on the ground. The baking pan I'll take because we don't have one at the other place. I don't think. Spoon and tumbler we don't need. I uh, don't need the dish towels, but I'll take the salt and the dried goods. And then there is this one. Rotten bread. Gross. But the rest of it, aside from the dish thing, I'll take. There we go. Alright. Let's start tearing shit apart. Assemble. 
disassemble. Perfect. All right, check the floor. Plank some nails, you're coming with me. Ooh, soap, I should actually grab that. I don't think I have any soap. Nails and planks. Come on, folks. Okay. And then, let's try to grab the sink. Oh, I need a pipe wrench for that, right? Oh, no matter. Nothing. All right. How to use generators? Ooh. Taking that with me. Nothing. Engineering Volume 2, How to Make a Smoke Bomb. We're never going to make that, so I'm not going to read that. I want the enemies to know I'm coming. I don't know why I'm walking around the couch like I'm not going to tear it apart, but... Let's head back to home so I can drop off this wood. I've just been kind of dropping it here. Because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Because if I put it in, like, containers, it's just gonna, you know, kind of get in the way of storing other things. Go ahead and put away the canned goods and the other stuff. I think everything else for that. Food, so we can just dump it. Maple syrup. All of that. There we go. Okay. Are you carrying anything else here? No. Oh, I guess adhesive tape, but that barely weighs anything. But I might as well just get rid of it real quick. There we go. Okay, and I guess I got a couple of lighters that I don't really need to be carrying. Huh. So this one bottle of water, because it's the bleach bottle, it weighs 1.6, while the others weigh way less. I'm just going to put this bigger bottle of water away and keep the smaller ones. Also, I should take down this door while I'm at it, right? Not ideal. What else we taken apart? We got some beds and stuff in here, right? Ooh. A shotgun. And a rifle? Jesus Christ. Plank and nails. We're gonna have to go back sooner than I thought because of all that. Hey, carpet level up again. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate that. When I move and try to skip time forward, and it's like, nah, I'm not gonna. Continue doing what you wanted me to do. Why would I do that? Here we go. Another plank to add to my collection. All right. One more level. Actually, I think I can do it now, but I'm just going to say one more level because we might as well while we're at it, right? And nothing. All right. On to the next room. Which will also help net us some electrical experience by taking down that TV. Ooh, a lighter. Always good to have more lighters, you know.
the office desks are nice because you can take down uh, two things instead of just one. All right, let's get rid of this stupid television. Disassemble the, oops, not that, sorry, the, the low plat. Excuse me, I'm clicking like here. Here we go. And now we can do the park bench that's outside. And then this plastic table. Which conspicuously has nails and wood scrap. Fun fact, my microphone is actually in the way of these icons in the position I'm sitting in right now. So I, I completely was like, oh, we don't have any status ailments until I like moved and readjusted. I was like, oh, I'm getting a little antsy, aren't I? All right, let's grab what we can. And then we have this last cabinet here, but you know what? Might as well drink this wine since we uh, have it. And it's not like we can turn it into Molotovs, so. Ah, there we go. We can turn that into Molotovs, though. Yeehaw, baby! I can this china cabinet. Grab these nails. Right, I think that's everything here other than the sink that we can take apart. So let's head back home, drop off our loot, and go to the next apartment. all that um nothing else was in this one I can drop off my electrical stuff in here though that 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 urban won't fit uh let's see here i fit the bourbon in this one no Can I fit this ammunition in here? No, neither of them. Damn. Well, luckily there's a uh, room in here. I'm gonna store these books in here. Even though I have not read them fully yet. I might as well, right? Put the bourbon in here then. Ugh, one second. Ugh. All right. Um, I'm going to go grab that pipe wrench. Peep, 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 pipe wrench, pipe wrench. Where is it at? I had a pipe wrench, right? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, I can... Do some other fun stuff, but it's nighttime now, or it's getting to be nighttime. So we're gonna do our burpees. Take a look at our skills here. Let's see, we're slowly but surely getting a little bit of strength. Not a whole lot, but it's enough for now. And we'll sleep. Uh, six in the morning. Nice. Let's go ahead and take a moment to smoke a cigarette. Excellent, eh? Let's get back to it. Once we have level four carpentry, I'm gonna... Do I need to take these apart? Or do I need to... Okay, they are metalworking. Gotcha. Yeah, as I was saying, once we have the uh, stuff 
here. I'll take the muffin tray and the rolling pin. Once we have four carpentry, as I'm trying to say, keep getting distracted though, we're going to go up top side, build our rain collector. Uh, I'll have to kind of mark off where stuff is at because it's going to be a little bit hard to tell exactly where a 3x3 area is below the uh, sinks that we're trying to use. So... Grab any planks and nails we can here. And I'm going to try to pick up the kitchen sink. It's probably going to break though. It did. We're going to disassemble the counter instead. There we go. Okay. That's not the bathroom. I might as well take some garbage bags while I'm doing this. That way I can make more than one of the uh, things here. So anyway, let's go ahead and fill our water before we empty the sink. Probably what I should have done before. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try to take the sink from this one again. It failed, so let's disassemble it. One of these times I'll get a sink. Just you wait. Alright, um... I do think I want to get this crowbar. Everything else I don't really care about, so we're just going to go ahead and throw that on the ground. <coughs> oh, I'll keep the rope. And then let's go ahead and disassemble this. Nice. Nail on a plank. Let's go ahead and get our electrical experience there, and then we can go ahead and scrap this. Let's go ahead and dismantle the earbuds. Get the rest of this thrown on the ground. Disassemble. All right. Hell yeah. Um, just a little bit more. Make metal roof, metal walls. Might as well take that. I'm sure at some point it'll come in handy. We have to be so close to level one up. TV remote, dismantle. Cordless phone. Dismantle all the cordless phones? Yes. Didn't realize there was multiple there. Sheet of paper. Toss it on the ground. Ooh. I just remembered something. We do need a uh, an empty notebook. In order to make our, our journal. Ooh, we have a an, uh, b -b 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 an oven? No. What are they called? A grill down there. Okay. Go ahead and store our food goods in here. Doesn't really matter which cabinet they're in as long as you're in a cabinet here. Yep. Then let's run back through here. Over to here. And I can go ahead and throw this stuff into here. And the light bulb and the electrical stuff. And I guess the receiver. And the aluminum. And the other side. I can throw this metalworking magazine in there. Alright, we're so close to being done with uh, all this, so let's go ahead and finish up what we can. Oh, right. I can go ahead and take this now. Try to take it. Hey, we got it! Nice! A 
have to go ahead and disassemble this quick. Is that a fresh pineapple? Hell yeah, let's eat that because we're hungry. Give us some thirst too, so even nicer. All right, so before we uh, continue on, we did pick up a sink. So we can go ahead and place the item. I'm just going to place it. Oh man, I can't. Oh, there we go. I'm going to place it right here. Nice. Now we have two sinks here. Hopefully we can get a couple more and put them in this configuration. Okay, the last place we were searching was down here. I forgot. <laughs> Alright. Let's grab our planks. That stuff. grab that. One other thing we need to grab is a leather jacket, because we need to make it into leather strips for the journal. If I hit this button and we look at the bound journal, uh, bind journal together. So we need the leather strips or thread. No, we need thread and leather strips. We need an empty notebook or a journal. Then we need glue and wood glue. The glue might be the problem for us, to be honest. I don't think we have any of that offhand. We have to be like so close to leveling up. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's take what we have here. And let's. Why don't we read this? Give ourselves a little treat, a little break from all this. There we go. All right. Hello, Grill. Like, turn off the grill? BBQ info. Fuel. 20 hours unlit. Okay. That guy's in so much pain, man. Alright, let's see if I can find at least a journal. I probably passed one before. Empty notebook. There we go. Got it. What do we have in here? That is some stuff, all right. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Another empty notebook. This is great. Okay. Let's head back. And we'll see what we have. First of all, let's go ahead and drop the planks and stuff here. Seven. All right, all done. All right. We need thread, glue, and the notebook, which we have. I'm going to move this stuff real quick. Leather jacket. Make sheets. No. Hmm? No, it made sheets. What? Fuck, I did the wrong thing, I think. Well, might as well make sheets out of that. Why not? Put the sheets back in. I'm sure I have leather somewhere else that I can turn into it. Um, so we needed... I should really sort through this stuff, because I have food in here, too. I just kind of dumped it when I needed to. Um, can't do that to shoes. Thread, 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 thread. I don't have thread in here. How about here? Do I have thread in this one? No. Uh, duct tape, rope pen... Cordless phone. I'll dismantle that real quick. Hey. All right. I'm going to go ahead and disable this TV. Disassemble, whatever the hell I'm trying to say there. Now let's go ahead and put this stuff away real quick.
Okay. Um, hmm. I know there's more clothing in here. Surely I have a uh, something leather, right? If not, I can go like raid a zombie body and tear stuff apart. Okay, one more time. What do I need? I need the leather strips, the glue. Right, I wasn't even looking for fucking glue. Glue and then just the leather strips, really. Maybe thread. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, no glue. How about this one? Glue? No glue. Glue! No glue. Glue? No glue. Do I have anything in here that I can use? That, that. Hmm. Carpenter volume three, right? I had to put some stuff into here because I was running out of space. Denim jeans, ripped clothing, that would be denim. These pants. I will tear all them apart. But I specifically need leather. What about this drawer? A crossword magazine? Normie pants? Okay. Anything in this? More bourbon. Nice. Alright, sadly, we do not have what we need here. But that's alright. Um, to make a journal, anyway. To make a... Other thing. If we go to carpentry, uh, furniture... Collector. We need a carpentry seven for the rain barrel, but the rain uh, box. I guess I don't really know if there's a difference. Um, this one needs four planks, four nails, and four garbage bags. So four planks is what we're gonna grab from the floor here. So one. Two, three, four. Four planks. I'm gonna put in my backpack before I start dying there. I'm just gonna take all the nails, because why not? And then I should have garbage bags in one of these somewhere. Right? There they are. Garbage bags. Got them. All right, so now I can go ahead and make the ring collector. Which, uh, in order to do that, I'm going to select walk two. So right here is one place. So <clears throat> it's going to be from the left stair here. Okay. So one, one, two, three. Right? And then... One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Shit, I, uh... It was here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. As long as we get in the ballpark there, so... Six. Let's say... This one is six away, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. One, two, three. Uh, then we want to put it here, right? So if we do... Furniture, ring barrel... And then here... And it isn't a 3x3 three three below it, so I think as long as we uh, have it in the general area, it should work. So now if we go downstairs, if it worked, we should be able to plumb them. Hell yeah, plumb chrome sink. Ah, not that one though. Dang, so I must have put it like over here instead of here or something. That's fine though. That works for me. Why am I still, like... Oh, I have thread. Where did I get thread? Okay. Whatever. 
Hey, my guy, you got anything leather on you? You do. But I don't think that's a proper jacket. Also, let me check this Louisville map. Not the one we need. Why do they never have the one we need, guys? You know? All right. Get some more uh, garbage bags while we're at it. <clears throat> you guys got any uh, stuff down here? Hmm. Looks like it has to be actual, like, a leather jacket or something to cut up. I don't think I can cut up shoes. Trousers. I think it's got to say leather in it, unfortunately. Hmm. Wouldn't mind grabbing this other sink, though, while I'm at it. Hey, it worked. Fuck yeah. Now, before I kill myself by not having it, go ahead and place that sink there. It's going to look jank, but if it works, it works. We have two sinks plumbed now. Hell yeah. I don't know what I'm carrying. That what, Why do I have the small mirror? No, 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 no. Place that there. There we go. All right, I'm a little bit better now. I still don't know what I'm carrying that's like weighing me down so much. I just have a garbage bag and the nails. And this stuff? Is it because I'm carrying around this machete? No, because that's only two pounds, but... Uh, who knows? Let's just eat a thing of chips and forget all of our worries. Okay, let's go back to looking for a leather jacket. Let's check down in this one. Leather jacket. Rip clothing. Let me try to rip this one. What is it? That's just ripped sheets. Door hinge, yada yada. Hoodie, pants, jeans. I could make more jeans, but. What about this little uh, end table here? Crossword magazine. Fine. All right, let's go to the uh, other locations back here. First of all, garbage bag. Not there. Let's see. Leather jacket. Here we go. Rip clothing. Make sure we rip the clothing. That'll give us the leather strips. And now, we just need to find glue. And we can do it. We just need glue. Which is probably going to be a pain to find, if we're going to be honest here. So I'm going to take this and uh, disassemble it. Because there is one problem we're going to run into here. Even if we power this place, we uh, are going to have an issue where the uh, generator... Once the power gets cut off and we have to use a generator, uh, it's going to try to power all the appliances in the building and not just the things that we want it to supply, right? So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now at least we have a baseline for our uh, collector barrels to go off of, so we know and if we put one right, right, I forgot I need one more fucking thing. Did I grab the garbage bag out of this one, please? Of course, I already did. Smart like that. All right. I'll have to grab it off the ground here. I totally forgot about that. There we go. All right, let's hustle around here. <laughs> <gasps> All right. 
now we can make the rain collector barrel right here after we get out of the way. Perfect. Okay. Now we have two of those up there. We just have to wait for it to rain and they'll hold up a decent amount of water. I won't have to worry about uh, water issues for a while. But now we just got to plumb this sink. And everything up top will flow into here. And it'll just be Gucci. And I think if we remove this bandage, we're all good. Hell yeah, brother. So, before we start taking on the hospital, we really, really need to fortify our current position. And uh, that's going to be our, our next goal, honestly, is to fortify all that. Um, store that stuff, store this stuff in there. No aluminum, huh? Okay. All right. Yeah, we have to find glue. We gotta find glue. So, let's take this stuff. I can hopefully store it in here. Thread I can store in there. All right. So here is the plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do our, our burpees. I'm going to, I think we have a construction three book somewhere up here, I thought. I don't know. I'm going to read the rest of these books that we do not know currently. And then what we can do is since we know that there's a hardware store up there, we can go with the van, go to the hardware store, pick stuff up, come back down here, because that should have glue up there, right? Most definitely. So that's the plan for next time. Once we get the glue, we can make a journal. We can copy our stats over so we no longer lose stuff. And uh, go from there. So I'm going to do my burpees. And we're going to read. And uh, have a fun time. So, until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.